teacher. I can show you the ways of the force. This is my latest design, Ben Swallow, aka Swall Kylo Ren. And I like to print him upside down. And here's why. The main reason is because the surface area of the boots are just too small to stick to the build platform. I discovered this problem early on and ended up with several boots and a lot of spaghetti. To overcome this, I would put a raft around his feet, which worked quite effectively, but we we're still going to have problems once we added his arms. This is best demonstrated in Simplify 3D. You can see that the software builds scaffolding up from the base and then begins to form the fingers and then the arms and joins back into the body. But there's no way the print is going to make it that far. The movement of the print head is almost certainly going to break this fine connection at the fingers. And you'll still need supports for the chin, hair and nose. This is why printing upside down makes more sense. The chin, hair and nose build up and outwards without the need for support and no sagging. Likewise, the arms and legs build from a solid trunk and out to the finer limbs. So let's test my theory, first with him standing up. And there we have it, knocked off the legs. Impressively, the added brim allowed it to reach the tips of the fingers, but now it's just making a pile of spaghetti. So let's try this upside down. There we have it, Ben Swallow encased in scaffolding, much like Han in Carbonite. If you'd like to make your own Ben Swallow, then you can find the designs for free on my mini factory, or order a completed one from my Etsy shop. Links are in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and follow me, or else you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, where you can keep up to date with my latest projects. I'm John from Initiation, and I'll see you next time.